Uh, hello, this is a note about radar, radar navigation. And uh, the question originally came up in the radar course, but I want to expand on this exercise a little bit uh, so that the folks in our inland and coastal navigation course can look at this at the, at the same time. Um, so what we're going to do, let me just see where it is exactly. This is, this is in the radar course, quiz three, number 14. Well, it's number 14 and 15. Uh, I'll, 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 I'm going to start with number 14 and maybe look at number 15 afterwards. But the idea is we're going into a very, uh, a very tricky harbor, one up by Port Townsend, uh, 30, 35 miles north of Seattle here. And this is, uh, we have a realistic vision of this thing in the simulator. And, um, and so we're going to practice going in there as if it's fog, because it is a place you might well go if you were headed out or up into the straits and it gets foggy. It's, a, it's, a, it's an anchorage. Um, so it's this problem. So we're going back to start the radar simulator. And it's telling us we want to, first of all, get to the, we've got to go load, um, let me go here. We've got to load Port Townsend. Port Townsend, load scenario. Okay, and the, and the vessel starts out here. Let me turn on the scan. Yeah, that, that vessel's starting way out here. So what we do with this, when we have a trick with a simulator, we've got multiple targets on a screen, and we can jump from one target to the other. In this case, if we, uh, if we identify the vessels, we see we've got an A here and a B here. And the instructions say, as soon as you open this up, jump to vessel B. So we put jump to, and then we jump to B. Now we should be uh, looking, let's see the radar. Yeah, see now we're in here somewhere like that, getting ready to go into this harbor. And here's, here's the harbor like this. And we're going in and uh, getting back into here somewhere. But this is all very shallow. And the green, of course, is the part that's covered in, uh, when the tide's above zero, that's covered. And high water, it's uh, uh, mean high water, the water's all the way up to here. And zero tide, the water's here. We'll look at that on a chart. And here's a radar view. And then, um, so what are we going to do here? Let's go, we're going to want to go here, where we got a better radar. And then... Um, Let's look at the, we're going to want the chart too for this. And we're stopped. Let me double check. We're stopped. Yeah, speed zero. So we switched to B and B was sitting there parked. So we're not moving. We're just on the right vessel. Um, now, what do we want to do? Uh, first of all, we got to, let's zoom, uh, let's turn, let's get in closer on the, reduce the range so we can see where we are. Okay. So we can go down even another one. Sometimes the smaller scale is not the best. Here, let's even go up a scale. We get a little better perspective on where we are. So what's our range here? It's 0.5 miles. From here out to here is 0.5. Every ring is 0.1 miles. So there's several things, several things floating around here. And uh, they're either buoys or targets. And we'll know that in a minute. We're not moving. If they're targets, they're going to move. But I don't, they don't, they're not moving. So it probably they're also buoys or beacons or something. But we're, what we're going to have to do is uh, get the chart. So let's get the, we want to get the chart for this region. And in a moment, um, and, and, that, and you see what I did, I clicked the chart button here. And then I'm in here, I want to go to Port Townsend here. But I don't want Port Townsend, that's this whole chart here. I want just this little bit right here of this inlet. So I want that one. So there's that chart here. And then you want to print that because we're going to use that like a real navigation chart. Now, I'm doing this all digitally. So I've kind of printed this one, or not print, well, <laughs> not really printed, is it? But it's a picture of it that I can use just to illustrate this, uh, illustrate what I'm doing. So let's close that. And so now we have to figure out where we are. This is always a situation here. 
And one of the things that's going to be, it's always a huge help, and that is this, if you don't have a heading sensor in your radar, then you have to always deal with uh, head-up radar, which is what we've got here. But you, your perspective and your vision of where you are, your, your uh, sense of your, where you are, is a lot better with a north-up display. So let's switch. We've got a, let's say we have a heading sensor plugged in here, and now here's, Here's where the here's the vessels pointed this direction. This is our heading of our vessel headed into this channel, and north is straight up at the top here. Now you can actually compare that to the chart, and when you're looking at the chart, and you can see here, this is um, uh, there's we're just above. Let's see. Here, here, here. It looks like look we're just above this buoy right here right here. So we're sitting somewhere here. That's this buoy. Then this one is this one and this one's this one. So if you look at the scale down here, uh, this is one mile. So you see this out here uh, is about like uh, 0 0.1, 2, 3, 0 0.4, something like that. 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 and a half. So that's, that's this guy. That's this headland. So our job is we're going to go up and go around here. And the question was, when do we first see this, 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 uh, this is a beacon? Notice on this uh, chart here, this says radar reflector. That's why this is so nice for getting in there. These are big beacons that in the daytime are just big, big uh, posts with signs on them. But these signs these also have a radar reflector, so they stand out really nice uh, in the fog. And this one, this one, radar reflector, has got number six. And notice the six is in quotes. So that means there's a big six painted on this. Likewise, a big eight painted on this. The, uh, the even ones will be on the right, the odd ones will be on the left, and the channel wraps all the way around here through all this narrow stuff and uh, shallow water, and then you come back into here to deeper water here. And I don't know, in a minute I'm going to look at a real chart that'll show me what the, what the I don't, uh, this, okay. Yeah, so we get the depths, we get the units, and so forth. You get from a real chart. Okay, so uh, so here we are. And so the idea is now, if we go back down, let me go increase the range a little bit. Can I see around that corner at all? Okay, I see around. Uh, okay, no, I don't see. When I look at this scale, I don't see any of these. I don't see six or eight out there at all. The question was, when do we see? Uh, so here's this one. Now I can see this one. What is that one? Oh, that could well be just... Th okay, that's six. That's probably six. I'll know better when we get closer. Okay, so that's our job. And then we can look at something like this to say what our course is going to be uh, going in there. And you can always check that. You see right now this heading is 65. And if we're right here, what would this heading be? Now I can fudge that out a little bit. Let me turn on this tool I've got here called Pixel Stick. That's a Macintosh app. It has nothing to do with real... Uh, well, actually... Okay, so this you do with parallel rulers and dividers, right? But anyway, here's the scale, and that's two miles. Yeah, that's about right. And then if I put this up here, what's it read for a heading? It's zero. Yeah, I'm reading it over here, 37, 45. Okay, so this is sort of working. So this is like I'm sort of just mocking up what you would do with parallel rulers if you're doing it, if you're... Uh, whoop, where did my pixel stick go? Uh, uh, here. Oh, that's interesting. My little, I, I, I've out tricked myself. Okay, I've out tricked myself. <laughs> Too many technologies. Let me shut off that pixel stick and quit. Quit that. But here, let me just show you another, another thing. So you can do that with your parallel rulers. But we can also, um, what is this? Okay, that's the PDF that I just captured from. What do I want here? I want a chart program. Okay, here we go. So what you can do is this is now a free program called OpenCPN, and this is a chart. You can go and get this chart and load it. 
and you see what we're looking at here, and then you could, you, in other words, you, could ma you can compare it to this. This now, look, this is an RNC. This is an image of the paper chart. This one I happen to be looking at is an ENC, is an ENC. I could also, you know, we could look at the, uh, we could look at the RNC as well. They look like this. They look like that. And then here's the ENC. They look like that. Okay, so we're somewhere here, and we're going to go up into here. So I could put on a route. Let's see, where do we say here somewhere? Okay, so here, what's this now? I'm going up here somewhere like that. Then I'm going to go up here maybe somewhere like here, and then somewhere up into here, okay? So escape. Okay, so there's my route. So my first heading, my first heading here looks like it would be 60062. Well, something like 062. You know, I could bring that down here. Yeah, and, I, and I'd, I'd try to drive towards the center of this shallow water, right? I'm, I'm going to zoom way in then. When I'm my boat's tracking in there, you see, my boat's tracking in there, I'm going to watch that boat come in and I want to stay right in this shallow part here. I don't want to, you know, do anything weird like that. I'm going to stay right in here and I can see that. That'll all be very accurate. My little track trail, breadcrumb trail will show exactly where I am. So I'm going to come up here and in fact I'm probably, let's see, okay, go up here. I'm going to insert, you know, in reality what you would do then is probably just, um, uh, let's see, insert a waypoint here. I'd go you know, something like that. Okay, so I'm up here, up here, like that. Okay, so we're going in there. But the idea is this is this is about a 067, 065. Then we're going to be next to somewhere a beam this buoy, this buoy. Then we're going to turn. And what is our new heading up here is going to be something like 10, 010. All right, so that's what that looks like as we go marching in there. So here we are on our radar. And right now, Right now we're on heading what 065. So we, the idea now is we'll put some way on. We'll put on five five. Uh, let me get back up here on the go up uh, down on the scale. Okay. So now what is this guy here? We got to keep it pay attention here. Okay. This is number. This is buoy three. See the little three out on the side. So this is three here. And we're here's we're moving up. We're moving up here like this. Now, if we were watching our GPS on this, we would be seeing a GPS, our, our actual icon of our vessel, and it would be leaving a trail like this. But here we're sort of navigating all by radar. So I'm going up there at uh, five uh, five knots. Now. This is not the, this is not the real world, but I'm going to just speed up to. G I'm going to go up to here just a little bit. Don't do this at home. Okay, so there's ten knots. So you wouldn't do that in the fog. You wouldn't do that at all. You'd take your time. You would think about everything. Check the bearings. Check your headings. Check your speed. See that over here when you're watching your track on your S O G your C O G track. I mean your track of where you've been you watch it that's exactly saying where you want to go and and so forth later well I didn't I didn't think of this exercise till just a while ago but I could have, we should have fired up our own simulator here then we could show that very nicely but this is a for now it's a radar problem uh, radar course problem and uh, so as soon as we get up to about here then we're gonna I'm gonna actually slow down here and um, slow down and uh, then at this point up here I'm gonna actually uh, slow down a little bit and then here we're gonna t hey wait did I just see there I think I just saw our buoy flash in see th this th our simulator is kind of realistic in this ah there look at that that okay I'm gonna stop stop you see that guy actually flashed in right there Point one, point two, point three, point four. It looks like I've just seen that guy at point four five. Okay, I think that's the answer to the question. If that is, well, okay. So let's measure how far off that buoy is. And um, let me come back to here. 
just to be sure we're all this is how you interplay your different instruments now where are we we're just literally right here and this is the guy we wonder about so I can go with my M on this tool I can go with an M key and pre just to measure this and so that's like 0 0.42 miles off from where 0 0.42 0 0.42 and then let me put on our variable range marker here, variable range marker, and bring it out. What's that read? 0.46. Okay, so I'm, oh, okay. So back, back in our uh, navigation program, where is that? You see, I, I measured, where are we? Let's get it right. I'm, I'm actually south of this buoy. I'm about here. Okay, M key from here up to here. Yeah, 0.44. Okay, uh, so it tur that's it. That's the answer to the question was how, how, how far off do you first see that guy? Let me just keep, let me progress. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put, put on some more. I'll go like three knots. Then I'm going to start turning to the left. But look, that guy's he's locked in. So at, at um, well, no, he's not locked in. He's gone now. But that's the way buoys will behave when f small targets that are long distance away, or you know, they'll, they'll not they'll not show every sweep. They'll not show every sweep until you get really close, and then they'll show every sweep. I think the okay. Let me go. Here's okay. I'm gonna go left some more. Okay, now where are we now? See, this buoy here, okay, let me go left a couple more. Let's go back and check that buoy. Yeah, that's a red buoy. See, this is a red buoy, red, right, returning. So I want to go on this side. I want him on my right when I go by. So I've got to turn. I'm going to turn another 10 degrees to the left. Whoop, I didn't do it, did I? No, I didn't do it. There's 10. Actually, I'm not doing it. Why isn't that? Okay. <laughs> that's like when you're driving your boat you better do it when you say you're going to do it all right so there's 10 now we're heading up we're heading up on the inside here i can pick up our speed maybe a little bit and then maybe i'll go a little bit to the right one degree to the right to 11 now look that guy now is he every sweep every sweep every sweep okay so i'm going to I'm going to pause. Is there a pause here? Pause. Bang. I just paused everything. So I'm going to take the VRM out there. So I don't know what the right answer is. I, we saw it at 4.5 uh, it looked like. 4.5 maybe. 4.6. But uh, if I go out there right now. Whoops. There's a VRM. In principle, when you measure these, you would measure to the inside edge would be the right one. Okay, what's that VRM say? 3.38. Okay, well, 0.38 is a solid target. The question is, when would you first see it? And I would guess if I was talking so much, I wasn't, I was forgetting about the problem, but we saw it for sure at 0.5. So something like that's the answer. And anyway, the rest of this exercise goes on. So this is a, a nice way to learn about radar navigation with this exercise. And then the thing that I've sort of thrown in on top of it, even for our radar course where we don't really use this, uh, this uh, chart, but this is a free program. This is an absolutely free program. It's got a built-in function about how you download all the charts for Washington or just a few of them. And then you can, if you have this on, then you can play with it. Likewise, we have other charts and, um, and you can always just get the real charts. Now we, okay, I'll just let it, let it go at that. And then that would be an interesting way to supplement your training.